So there are a ton of free programs that you've heard me talk about that I basically install on every single computer I use. And in most of the videos that I'm talking about those programs, it's about free programs. But there's a paid program I use on every single one of my computers that's gonna be using multiple monitors and that's called Display Fusion. So today we're gonna to talk about why I love Display Fusion so much and why I think anybody that has multiple monitors set up for their computer should be using Display Fusion. Now this video isn't sponsored by Display Fusion or anything like that. This is just me talking about a piece of software that I can't live without. The reason I'm making this video now is because I recently got a new work laptop and the last couple days I've used it without using Display Fusion, and I just realized how much I missed this program and how much I used it and just didn't realize it. So let's go ahead and hop into the features of Display Fusion. I'll show you how it works. I'll show you some of my favorite features, and then we'll go over the rest of the features as well. But I really think you're all gonna like it. So as you can see here, we have two windows, the top and the bottom one. And that's just my two monitors right here. And one of the first things and one of the most useful items is that as you can see on the bottom of them, their taskbars are different. Now, they're not entirely different, um, but they are different and I can pin different items to each screen separately. So the way that Windows works natively is that once you pin something to the taskbar, it's on the taskbar on all windows if you have the taskbar on all windows. Also, if you move a program between windows, it still appears on the other windows taskbar. But if you use Display Fusion, it'll only appear on the taskbar of the window or the display that it's currently on. So for example, let's have my Spotify open. As you can see here at the bottom, it's open on the bottom, but once I go ahead and bring it over to my other monitor, it brings that icon over as well and the icon disappears from the other monitor. This I find super, super useful if I'm using a lot of different programs or different windows across separate monitors, especially if I'm using Chrome on multiple monitors or Firefox. Um, I can make sure that when I'm opening or clicking on the icons on the bottom, it's only pulling up the tabs that I had on that specific monitor instead of the ones that were on another monitor. I find this super helpful with working, especially because if I'm sharing my, my screen in a Teams call, I can manage everything that's going on on the display that I'm sharing on Teams and ensure that everything that's on there is stuff that I want people to see. Now, another feature that I use all the time is as you can see these two little icons here at the top of all my windows, these I have set up specifically to move windows to the next monitor or to the previous monitor. So if I click it, it automatically moves it over to the next monitor. You can use Windows keys to move things over, but usually it'll snap first and then move over. This allows it to move over the same size as it, as it was on the previous monitor, and it's very quick and very easy, and it allows me to manage displays really, really well. Using these two buttons, especially if I have three monitors, if I only have two monitors, I still use it, but I only have the next monitor because it'll just go back and forth between the two. Um, but it, that is one of my most used features. So another awesome feature is that if you have a very large monitor or you have a monitor that maybe you want to split into two parts, like a portrait monitor, you can use Display Fusion to split that monitor into virtual monitors so that instead of snapping things to every corner or to the top and bottom, you can turn them into virtual monitors and it makes things a lot easier to manage. This is very easy to do. You just go ahead and you go to Display Fusion at the bottom, you right click, Monitor Configuration. And now let's say we wanna split this monitor. So we go ahead and go to splits and padding. And I can go ahead and add a horizontal split. I can add a vertical split. Um, I can add a vertical split here. And there we go. Now I have four 720p displays. If I click okay and I apply that, as you can see, my monitor is now split into four different monitors. And if I go to the next, it moves between these virtual displays. This is also a great way to re utilize really high res monitors like 4K monitors um, or even a 4K TV. You can use this to split it up and it makes things a lot easier to read. And again, it makes things easier to manage. So another awesome tool is monitor fading. What this allows you to do is it allows you to fade all of the other monitors that are open that are not your current active monitor or you can set it up as a hotkey. And what it allows you to do is it allows you to fade the displays that you're not currently using in order to reduce distraction. 
So say you have things on multiple monitors to make things easier to switch between, but you're not looking at all those things at the same time. You're mainly looking at one display at a time and you're using the displays to just kind of separate work. This is an awesome way to do that. And it helps just reduce that amount of distractions that comes in from all your other displays. And one of the other big reasons that a lot of people like Display Fusion is its ability to manage wallpapers in a really cool, creative way. Now, if you're somebody that really enjoys having a clean wallpaper like I do, I don't have any of my desktop icons showing, and I really do like having nice wallpapers and I change them up every once in a while. You can do a lot of really cool things within Display Fusion for your wallpaper. For example, here this current source is a solid color, but I can change that to be my own personal images. I can change it to be videos. I can change it to be a URL uh, image. I can change it to be a website, but I can also do some really cool things like astronomy pictures of the day, which I think is awesome. I love astronomy. Um, you know, it can pull images from all these cool different places and you can make it so that you know, your monitors are just always showing a different image. And instead of using the built-in Windows one, where it only cycles through so many pictures at a time, this way you can get some really cool ones. And like the astronomy picture of the day is really, really, really cool. And you just go ahead and load the image. So now I have that loaded so that it'll choose the most recent image um, that gets uploaded to the uh, astronomy picture of the day via NASA and that'll change that picture every single day. This is really cool if you really enjoy looking at different wallpapers. I like using it to manage wallpapers. Sometimes I'll grab a wallpaper that's meant to be split across multiple displays and this makes it really easy to do. You can do an image across all monitors and it's a lot easier to use and manage than the built-in Windows desktop uh, wallpaper management system. And there are a ton of really great features built into Display Fusion that we haven't gone over. Things like being able to hide your Windows lock screen. Um, things like being able to modify your taskbar as much as you want. One uh, a feature that I find really helpful is this preventing the mouse cursor from snagging on unaligned monitor edges. This is really useful, especially if you're using monitors of different sizes, uh, or sorry, different resolutions. It allows you to easily move that mouse between them without them getting caught kind of on a corner um, that's not allowing that mouse to move over. But there are really a ton of features within Display Fusion and I would be spending a half hour going through them all. Um, take a look here, take a look on their website. They go through all of the different features that you can use. And they also have a 30 day free trial of the pro version, or you can just use the free version. Now the free version is great and it does give you a lot of the tools, but it does remove a lot of that flexibility of the ability to save a bunch of different configurations. If you like switching between configurations, um, a lot of the more complex settings and feature sets are also not enabled in the free version. So if you do want to try it out, try the pro version out, see if you like it. This is just one of those tools that when I'm using multiple monitors, I can't live without it. It is so helpful. Just the ability to move between monitors is a huge help for me. And a little hint for you, Display Fusion is also available via Steam. And because of that, you can often get it on some pretty steep discounts um, around any of the sale times, like the winter sale, the spring sale, and the summer sale. So if you do want to pick it up and you don't want to pay the $30, that's the standard price. You can get it on Steam and you can just wait for it to go on sale, add it to your wish list. I will leave links for the regular way to purchase it through directly through Display Fusion or through the Steam link down in the description below. And that's it. Honestly, Display Fusion is such a huge helpful tool for me. I use it a lot. Um, the window management and the taskbar management tools are super useful for me and I use them every single day. And I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, I'd really appreciate it if you like, subscribed. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, feel free to leave those down in the comment section below. Special thanks to my patrons, Step Back, Thought Slime, Rojo, Son of Dojo, and I'd like to thank you for watching to the end of this video. If you want to check out my video on all of my favorite free pieces of software, you can go ahead and check out the link right here. And as always, stay safe out there. I'll see you next Friday.